Okie dokie. So the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is how yoga can help you in your conscious creations. I want to say conscious manifestations, which is actually also correct. We're manifesting all day, every day. And um, through becoming aware of your feelings, your emotions and your thoughts, you can create what you do want instead of creating what you don't want because you're getting familiar with yourself, with the conversations that you have in your head and who you are, who you have been being, <clears throat> which makes, which helps you choose the state that you actually would like to inhabit and um, create the new man that you want to be. But the thing is, our mind doesn't always stay the course. We can lose focus. We can feel off. We can go into a deep sorrow pit and find it super hard to come out. While um, mental fitness is important here, we also need bodily fitness. And I have found during my teacher training in India that I have crazily changed my body, my back, and uh, actually the rest of my body too. Um, I will share a link to a blog post where you can see pictures of uh, my back before and after and of my whole body before and after. And what I notice is that I am literally much more balanced. So not only physical, also mental. Now I was doing pretty well, consciously creation, conscious creation wise, you know what I mean? And now I'm doing even better. And I know it is because my body is supporting my mind and my thoughts and my emotions. Think of this analogy, and you might have heard it before. When you have a hose, like a garden hose, and there is a kink in the hose, then the water doesn't come out properly, or maybe not even at all. We are vessels. We are on planet Earth. We have a body. That's just how it is. We can pretend that we don't need the body, but everything happens through the body. Yes. Everything is first imagination and then 3D, we're still working with the body. So <clears throat> when you make sure that your body is properly aligned, that it works the way it has to work, like literally, our body is the antenna, the antenna of the imagination radio station. Abraham Hicks used this, uh, uses this radio analogy a lot that um, if you are on a certain frequency, let's say um, uh, I want to have extreme wealth in my life is a 9 FM. <laughs> Not even sure if it's possible. And um, you're on 5 FM broadcasting where's my wealth, where's my wealth, I don't see my wealth, then you're not able to receive anything because you're on the wrong radio station. See your body as an antenna to tune your radio station, to dial it in even better. It works both ways. The mind and the body work together. And with yoga, you can get your mind and your body aligned. Just trust me on this. And the second super benefit is that you will look the way you are supposed to look. Yoga helps you to come home into your body as you're supposed to come home into your body. It's like a um, well-furnished house with beautiful furniture and it's nice and warm it's light all that 
yoga helps you to do that. And yoga is not only physical. Yoga wasn't meant uh, physical at all. It's something that became very physical when it came to the West, um, which is fine because now it is here and now everyone knows and now everyone's ready to take the next step, which is yoga will help you to become more aware of you. It will help you consciously create everything that you want and actually that's also how it was meant but that's a topic uh, maybe for another video um, if you haven't heard of him check out Sadhguru he has amazing videos uh, on yoga and how you actually can become more aligned with yourself it is not Neville though so when you are new to Neville's teachings, I would actually say do not watch Sadhguru. You will only get confused. If you are more familiar with conscious creation, with Neville's teachings, with Seth, with Bashar, and you know how it works, then you can watch Sadhguru because he says uh, certain things that are actually more in the line of I would say maybe law of attraction-ish. He doesn't use those terms. But uh, we all know it's not about attracting. It's about selecting because creation is finished. You just select the reality that you want to live in. And how? By your thoughts, your beliefs, and your feelings. That's all. And I already talked about this in the previous video. Um, one more thing about uh, what you can do. So next to the physical exercise to get your body aligned, um, there is a breathing exercise that is called Nadi, Nadi Shadona. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correct, or Analom Viloma. And it's uh, alternate nostril breathing. There are multiple videos um, on this topic on YouTube so check it out what it does it helps you to balance the both sides of um, your body your energy body your brain it helps you to balance your masculine and your feminine side it helps you to balance your moon calm energy and your active Sun energy and when um, these energies are balanced, your mind is more balanced and it's easier for you to focus. So seriously, go for it. You will be so happy that you did it. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye.